450 is the magic number if you want an electrified Lexus. First, the NX450H Plus plug-in hybrid entered the scene, and we called it the best model in the NX lineup. Then we traveled to Spain to drive an RZ450E, the fully electric SUV from Lexus. What we haven't seen until now is an electric or plug-in hybrid from the best-selling RX range. That's going to change, and the 2023 RX 450H Plus hopes to take the NX 450H Plus's goodness to the next level, and we recently got a brief experience behind the wheel of a prototype. Driven carefully, the new 2023 Lexus RX 450H Plus could be viewed as an electric SUV. This fourth variant of the new RX line launches in 2023, sometime after the RX 350, RX 350H Hybrid, and RX 500H Hybrid arrive late in 2022. We don't have final specifications yet, but the 2023 RX 450H Plus uses a variation of the NX 450H Plus's FEV powertrain, and if you're wondering, the plus signifies that it's not just a hybrid, but a plug-in hybrid. The RX 450H Plus has a 2.5-liter naturally aspirated i4 and an 18.1 kWh lithium-ion battery pack, the non-plug-in RX hybrids use a nickel-metal hydride formulation. If it follows the NX plug-in's lead, the RX will have two motors. If that sounds a bit overwhelming to follow, forget all that and focus on this, 30 plus miles of electric range. That's what we're hoping to see from the RX 450H Plus, considering the smaller NX 450H Plus is good for an impressive 37 miles. For comparison, the 2022 BMW X5 X Drive 45e gets up to 31 miles of EV range, and the 2022 Volvo XC90 T8 Recharge, the longer range version introduced later in the model year, is good for up to 36 miles. As with those luxurious electrified SUVs, your plug-in experience is only as good as you make it. If you have the ability to plug in at night after coming home from work, a good amount of your daily driving will be completely electric. When propelled only by EV power, the RX 450H Plus delivers enough acceleration to get you into traffic, but you'll want the full hybrid system and its estimated 300-ish horsepower to make any passes. Good thing, then, that you can change it from EV to hybrid mode at the touch of a button. The plug-in didn't feel quite as quick as the 366 horsepower RX 500H, but we'll have to test both 2023 RX variants to confirm. Aside from the blissful quiet with electric driving and the wonderful flexibility of a plug-in, our biggest impression with this prototype was a braking system we hope is tweaked before we drive you. S. Spec Models During our brief time with the car, we found coming to a smooth stop difficult, as the SUV stopped a little more abruptly than we expected as the system transitions from regeneration to mechanical braking, a common issue with some hybrids but not nearly as pronounced in the RX 350H and RX 500H. In the past, we've commented on the coarse sound of the two, 5-liter engine that forms the base of the RX 450H Plus powertrain, but it isn't an issue here. When the engine in this electrified RX is actually on, it sounds remote enough that you won't think much of it. That leaves you free to enjoy the new cabin, which is just as luxurious as the other RX models and offers the quick reacting 14.0 inch touchscreen. The RX 450H Plus shows promise as the most electrified version of the best selling Lexus nameplate of all time. It's an important step, and we're eager to learn more about it and drive you. S. Spec models in the future. For now, we think the RX has the most potential as a right-sized alternative to the slightly larger BMW X5 and Volvo XC90 competition. Those two SUVs will likely be quicker than the RX, but the RX will probably undercut at least the Volvo in price, as that attractive Swedish option starts above $70,000. Considering the smaller NX450H Plus starts just below $60,000, 